folks I just wanted to check in with you in regard to module four's discussion board you know in this module four guys we're going to be talking about development across the lifespan essentially what that means is we'll be talking about development from the womb to the tomb uh, the approach that Jeffrey Nevitt takes with this particular textbook is talking about development from a physical standpoint emotional standpoint cognitive standpoint and a social standpoint now, when we talk about cognitions, of course, we're talking about higher mental processes, um, things that involve attention and memory and the ability to uh, selectively attend to, to things, uh, our abilities to plan and organize and be creative. All of that is connected with cognition or, or thought processes. And uh, speaking of thought processes, there's two theories that I want you guys to review as you work your way through module four. One of those theories is Piaget's cognitive development theory. Now a theory is just simply a tentative explanation of how uh, phenomena are connected. A phenomenon can be um, an entity, a thing that is occurring in the environment. It can also be something that is experienced within a human being. Uh, in this particular case, we're talking about uh, how development occurs cognitively from womb to tomb. And Piaget's theory is a stage-based theory in which uh, there are four different stages. Uh, there's the sensory motor stage, the pre-operational stage, the concrete operational stage, and then finally the formal operational stage. He believed some people don't even get to the formal operation stage, which is characterized by hypothetical thinking abilities as well as abstract thought processes and being able to process content on a higher level, almost the opposite of what you would see in a sensory motor period. So that's one theory that I want you guys to explore a bit. And the other theory that I want folks to explore is Eric Erickson's psychosocial development theory. And exactly like the title is saying, uh, it's getting that psychological and social development of people from womb to the tomb. You know, his theory is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a stage-based theory as well, and there's a series of crises that individuals have to overcome in order for them to uh, grow in a healthy way that uh, exhibits a great deal of adaptation, okay, or, or, or healthy functioning moving forward. Um, so, uh, in the discussion board, guys, what I want you to do is look at one of these theories uh, pick a stage that somehow you still fit in based on your age, okay? And uh, at, once you pick that stage, uh, make sure you find a photograph of some sort that connects with that stage and, and, and talks about uh, some type of action maybe you're engaged in uh, in, in that photograph. It, it needs to talk about uh, 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 explicitly how uh, 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 your behavior at that particular age range in that photo connects with that theory okay and as an example for you uh, I have for your viewing display uh, a picture of me um, at 16 years of age so this is a photograph of me shortly after a production of Little Shop of Horrors uh, when I was in high school I had a stint in which I was doing a whole lot of acting and I was very much inspired and encouraged to act by my director at the time. And uh, I was also inspired by some of the great African-American male actors such as Sidney Poitier and Denzel Washington and Harry Belafonte and just the, the list goes on and on. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, in this particular production, I actually served as the voiceover for the plan. And in my high school career, acting was a big part of my identity okay in fact I was thinking about going to college and even majoring uh, in theater because I was pretty sure that I was going to pursue acting full-time upon graduation uh, things didn't quite shake out like that uh, now I am of course in psychology and uh, some would say oh that's acting as well but hey that's another story that's a philosophical debate we don't have time to have right now but but this is a photograph of me at 16 years of age, and it goes hand in hand with Eric Erickson's stage, identity versus role confusion. So Erickson believed that individuals from uh, 13 to their early 20s 
must decide who they are, what they believe, and what they want to be as an adult. So this is a point in time where individuals are trying to define their values, their goals, and beliefs, and develop a stable sense of identity. In fact, you would successfully overcome the crises in this stage by, by being able to establish a firm sense of who you are. And individuals that don't do that end up being confused from 13 onward into their early 20s and may even isolate themselves or be overly influenced by their peer group as they try to fit in. Uh, so this was a point in time again in my life where acting was very co very central to who I was. It, it was at my, my core. It made up my identity. And, and the peer group that I hung around with uh, helped to enforce that sense of identity that I had. And uh, if I didn't have acting and I didn't uh, uh, find a place, right, uh, uh, socially uh, and, and, and psychologically where I could identify with who I wanted to be and what I wanted to become, then I could have possibly spent years um, in confusion. So what I just did there was take a stage out of a theory, connected it with the photograph that I have, that illustrates me in that stage. But I had to unpack it a bit. I had to explain how the photograph was somehow germane or relevant to the stage in Eric Erickson's theory. Essentially, folks, that's what you're gonna be doing in your discussion board post. You're gonna be finding photographs that depict something about your life story and captures you at a certain age range. And uh, in that photograph, you should be engaged in some type of action uh, in, in such a way that requires you to explain how it connects to Piaget's theory as well as Eric Erickson's theory, okay? So I look forward to reading your post. Uh, guys, make sure that you're, of course, using in-text citations. Make sure you're replying to at least two peers by the deadline. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, just one note, just for, for kicks and giggles. Let's go back to the photograph. Uh, so, yeah, baggy clothes. So now everything is bespoke and tailored. Uh, but there I am in this black long sleeve shirt that's triple my size and some khakis that's about double my size and man how the times change man how fashion changes anyway guys enjoy the remainder of your day and i look forward to interacting with you soon take care